Miss Patrice Reynolds is here now. Patrice, you can come on up to the mic. We've been waiting for her to get here. We're so blessed that she can make it. First of all, Jeanette, I appreciate you. It is an honor to be here today. You have no idea. I appreciate you. I appreciate your support and my projects and what I do. It's hard to find people that will support you, you know, no matter what. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and you are clearly one of those people, so I first have to thank you about that. As far as my family, I've been singing since I was three. Could I sing at the age of three? I don't think so, but I was you singing. You probably could. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, they, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I was, uh, they taught me how to sing uh, harmony, so I think I'm a taught vocalist. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I, I've been singing since I was three, of course, in church, so I've been okay. I discovered that I wanted to be in charge, and I wanted to write the plays, so... <laughs> That was where I got more joy. I got more joy in uh, writing the play, uh, you know, producing it and directing it, and that is what I actually fell in love with. Praise God! Praise God! So, what was the name of the organization? The Reynolds Group. Mm -hmm. um, you can also call it the Reynolds Stage. Okay. Um, okay. There is a website for that. If you just Google. Patrice Reynolds, you'll find everything about me there. Okay, yeah, it's a nice website, matter of fact. You just got that built? I like um, Actually, this is Wix.com. And let me tell you. Wix, okay. Wix is. Can Karen you spell it for us? W I X. Uh huh. Dot com. Mm -hmm. And they have levels. So you can even have a free website. Mm -hmm. you know, and it's becoming really impossible not to at least have a website. Because mm -hmm. there's so many free websites that you can utilize until you are able to do actually produce. Yes. And that you write. Yes. Now, see, I thought you were just with Jay Cameron. Oh, no. He's a great, great friend of mine and a great supporter. I help him out uh, in a lot of productions. Oh. The atmosphere is really good. And then, plus, it's awesome to be a part of something that's growing. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, you're not always going to, you know, break off and everything be in place. Mm -hmm. But when you're a part of something that's growing, mm -hmm. the journey is awesome. Okay. And you appreciate there you go. it. More, especially right. if you hang with people. Right, you know, right. You appreciate uh, Church Mafia is going to be running. He's right, I running, know you all know about he's that. He's running Sex Jose, mm -hmm. and that's mainly for the young, younger generation. Mm -hmm. Awesome. But the last one was at uh, Jay Cameron's Theater. This okay, that was one. yours, yes. the one that you wrote. The one that I wrote is called Love Forgotten. Okay. And I ran it twice, mm -hmm. um, one time in 2008, in August of 2008. Mm -hmm. Then I ran it again in January of 2009, right mm -hmm. before the restaurant opened. I took the book and I created a play and mm -hmm. it's called Love for God. Okay. And it's basically about breaking the cycle of bad relationships. Okay. You know, there's there's something that we're doing to mm. continue to be in certain in certain kind of relationships, we're actually drawing them to us. Mm -hmm. But if we continue to gut out ourselves and continue to cleanse ourselves, mm -hmm. then we'll change who's approaching us. Right. The next right. stage performance is called Zana. Okay. Zana is a stage play baby. Can you spell that for me? Zana. Z A H N A. Is that a person's name? That's a person's name. Okay. And that name was kind of common back in the 1930s. Mm -hmm. It's a 1930s piece. Mm -hmm. So you're going to see the whole uh, gangster feel. Okay. Uh, maybe a little, you know, some singing. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, it's it's about that era, you mm -hmm. know, based in Chicago. So mm -hmm. it's something, it's actually my masterpiece. I've been writing this play. Mm. Surprisingly, since 1996. Okay, yeah. So, so a lot of times, God will will slow something up, or he'll 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 hold something back to make it right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A lot of times, but it's not that you weren't supposed to do it originally. He Thank wanted you to glean and learn something from, from your first it. experience. Right. But the second is always going to be better. Mm -hmm. I like I love the fact that in um, in China, mm -hmm. the, the, their practice is failure is the mother of success. Mm -hmm. So if you don't experience failure, if you never experience failure, how will you really ever become successful? Amen. We have to start looking at failure as something else. Right. Different. Well, child, I fell a lot, so I'm really successful. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Jeanette, you have no idea what you just said. Oh, my god! I was gosh. just talking to my mother and aunt this morning, and I was like, you know what? Success is, I don't want to feel successful because I've gotten the truck that I want, mm -hmm. or because I've gotten the house that I want. We shouldn't feel successful mm -hmm. because of that. We should feel successful before that stuff Amen. gets to us. Right, right. Success is an inside thing right. that's based on security mm -hmm. and significance. Mm -hmm. You being secure in who you are. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And knowing that nobody can be you. Right. That's there you go. You're, a, you're an individual. And Christ right. gives us that. He right. gives us that. Genesis right. 1 and 26. Mm -hmm. he, we were made in his image. Mm -hmm. So therefore, that is enough right. for me to be significant Amen. and secure. There you know, you for go. me to go know ahead, that I'm significant. There you go. So you Teach have to, us, child. You have <laughs> 
<laughs> you have to be successful comes because uh -huh. if those things make you feel successful, mm -hmm. oh honey, when they gone, which they can be gone. Mm -hmm. In the blink of an eye, they can be gone for any there reason. Go. Any right, reason. that's true. Even nothing that's that true. you have done, uh -huh. but just life happens. Right, right. When those things are gone, then how, who, then how are you going to feel? Okay, yeah. Novella, you can come in anytime you want. You a part of this too. Okay. We we love having you aboard here. It's <laughs> DJ Novella that we have her here, and she's just like me, just soaking everything in, and we're enjoying ourselves listening amen, to Patrice. Amen. It's just wonderful. I hear the preacher coming out of the <laughs> Me too. Know, and me the too. preacher inside. Uh -huh. and, and it's amazing mm -hmm. that you mentioned Howard because most of my cast mm -hmm. came from Howard. Okay. They, you know, mm -hmm. um, they were either Howard students mm -hmm. or alumni. Okay, so you know what, Patrice, are you ready? Let's go with this song here. What's the name of the song? Oh, this song is called You Did Not See, and let me set it up. So yeah, you know me at a time when I was doing this, I was doing that My father showed you what was put in me But you chose not to see the key in me Be the pointed one and this time you see Now you're back, now you're back in my space Trying to figure out, trying to figure out Oh, Spell it for me. M A T E E N. Always. What you think about that song? It was wonderful. It was awesome. <laughs> it was totally Thank awesome. You. Off the chain. You got another one like that one? Go. Woo wee! Hey, man, that was from the spirit, man. Yeah. I, told you. I had a minister tell me one time, it's coming from your spirit. Mm -hmm. So it, however it lands, mm -hmm. it will be a positive landing mm -hmm. on whoever's ears it lands on. Mm -hmm. It's it, it's what it is, mm -hmm. and that is how Amen. I express my love and my relationship for mm -hmm. Christ. You Amen. Know? Mateen, how'd you like that one? <laughs> how'd you like that song, Mateen? Oh, I love it. Uh, I, 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 she's she's a, a wonderful, wonderful songwriter. He said she's a wonderful, wonderful songwriter, if you can't hear him. Thank you, Mateen. <laughs> Our listening audience, just to let you know that what Mateen does is he has the ears on, so he's basically listening to see how everything is sounding out there that you're listening to. Okay, so that's what... <laughs> he said, he okay. said he'll take that. He said okay, but I know he's somewhere. I know he's young. He's 20-something. Oh, he, you know, I'm going to get him. You know, he, he's really asking for it. But anyway, Mateen likes it. He's a young person. And you can go to www.yahoo.com and then type in WPGR and you'll see all of these interviews. Okay, so we just wanted to say thank you, DJ Novella, for um, being with us today. All right. Thank okay, you. we appreciate you. Hey, hey. Amen. It's a pleasure. It's a okay, pleasure. and um, we're going to turn it back over to her, but we just thank God for our listening audience, and we want you to come and be with us again next week for another hour of Spread the Word, and I am Production. I am Jeanette Harris, your host. And Don't want to be.